Hi, I'm Tim McDermott. And I'm John Waterbed. And this is Urban Outdoors. I'm John Waterbed here alongside Chet. Today we're going to be talking about what we'll be killing. Or after days you lose a white tail buck. Much smaller, more miniaturized version than what most people hunt out in the great outdoors. See the green tail? They grow smaller. They grow smaller. So they can hide in tiny places. Like sure pine. Or your beer can. First thing you're going to need when striking out into the great urban outdoors is a good drunk super bass. We have our series of fine man by the name of Logan Von Strang. Don't ask him too many questions, because his parole officer might find him, arrest him, possibly fuck him. All right, now, we're going to talk to people about our scent block. Good scent block is pivotal in any urban outdoor situation. Scent killer, 13 million. Epic. Fire stuff. When you're putting it on, you don't want to get it. And all your little crimps, all up in everywhere. You get it down inside and you get it in your layers. So you want to make sure you get plenty of drunk shoot by. The last thing you want is a pro officer sniffing them out. You're going to want to make sure to hide your breath as well. 98.9.5% of all scent, am I right, John? Right, you're right. Comes out of your mouth. Gotta taste like dirt. You don't get it, I want to get rid of that bad breath. You gotta get it. You got to get it. This is number one. This is day one shit. Well, now, we're going to talk to you about our fish covers. What we like to use, open and long cut. Most people use other shit, not us. They got a well, variety of stuff that you can use to paint your face. Very important that you get quality coverage. So, what you're going to want to do is get that Copenhagen out of the You're going to want to just rub that in. Get that in there. I like to just blunt my eyes. Keep the light off. <laughs> light off. <laughs> Very important that you make some kind of pretty little design. I like to hear them. For me, I'm a little different. What I like to do, see a big old glob out there, you know. Oh, we got mad down, but. Alright, anyway, now let's get a big glob of this. Too. Rub it up in this thumb bitch here and give me a big old streak of most of it. It's, you know, it's good for you. Box of sun, box of little odor, more that is, that's, that's quality coverage. Another important aspect of this is... Get a little bit in your lip. Get a little bit in your lip. Hmm? 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Chet McDermott here with Urban Outdoors. When I'm in the Urban Outdoors, I like to reach for my Annihilator 9000. It's a quality crossbow. She's at 1,850,000 feet per second. With this adjustable telescopic sight, an optional 50 caliber attachment, it's the only thing I use in Urban Outdoors. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Urban Outdoors. I'm Chet McDermott in here on side John Waterbed and Logan Lawrence Frank. What we're going to be talking here today about is our weapon of choice for today's hunt. John, what are you on for today? Annihilator 9000. Top one I as you seen earlier, nice clip for both of the things. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's the one with this now there's a 9,000 cross goal. Dead on accuracy every time I use it. No matter where I'm hunting. I be hunting dogfish, dogs, cats, humans, I use it all the time. That's Option right, yeah. for arrows or bullets. Today, today bullets. Fine with it, fine with it. What I'm going to be hunting with today here is my Bear Driller 1500 Series Night Stalker. This thing is rated to take down planes, trains, or automobiles. It shoots at approximately 15,000 feet per second. And I wouldn't have no problem taking a poke at a tie fighter at 1,500 yards. Is Mainly arrows, explosive tips, depends on what you're after. Today we'll be using. Predator 2 Carbon Express arrows, your muddy 100 grain broadhead. I'm John Waterbed here with Urban Outdoors. And, you know, you want to get the stink out, right? That's why I always reach for the Stink Killer 15,000. It gets the stink out, fish can't smell it, deer can't smell it, nothing can smell it. It can't smell you. Supervisor approved? Supervisor approved. Damn good. So remember, you want to get the smell out? Sent to killer 15,000. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat. You're going to meet up with myself and John out in the urban outdoors for a little, little white tail deer hunt. Welcome back to Urban Outdoors. John Waterbed, I'm Slack Chet here. Young supervisor in the back. Pretty sure we see something down there. Here's the number one good thing about urban hunting. You don't have to be quiet at all because there's trains and other people walking around constantly. The little miniature deer have become accustomed to hearing the sounds and the smells and the scent of people. I think that's a little big ten pointer down there. It does look pretty nice. It does look pretty nice. Oh, we'll go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, he's down, he's down. All right. Hell yeah. That's an urban outdoors double kill right there. Right there. Let's go see what we got. 